Kalongo number seven. Responsibility of a member of a PAC. Firstly, members must develop a high sense of responsibility and discipline with respect to all matters relating to the PAC. So it's your own responsibility as home Africa, as an individual, you see my Africa, to have a sense of a discipline with respect to matters of the organization. That's one of the first responsibilities. You should refrain from tail bearing, back biting, gossiping, rumor mongering, and spreading lies and distortions of truth. Mm. So, Zambuti, this is what was written by Uta Tosobu in 1959. This is what a member of the PAC. This is a responsibility of a member. Each and every one of us. Whether you are alone, whether see group, see song, but this is your responsibility. Refrain from tail bearing, backbiting, gossiping, rumor mongering, and spreading lies and distortions of the truth. So let's not distort in your news. Let's refrain from it gossiping. And that is why I think one of the reasons why I always uh, discourage even in the way of theater is you know, the organization on the social media platforms. Because immediately you say something on this social media platform, I screen grab it and I send it to Africa. I forward that voice note you sent to me, I forward it to Africa, my wife. Um, Africa, um, and um, Africa, and they send to three, four, five other groups or five other friends of theirs. And that entire information that we were discussing here in an organization branch meeting, it goes out into the public. So, which means then you are leaking out information, your organization, you know, private matters of the organization. So that is why it's your responsibility. Because we are not always going to be together. But wherever you are, in every space, with whoever you are with, this is your responsibility when, as an individual. Because you know what you represent. You represent the PAC and the values Zotato Sobu. You are not here for any other reason or any other person. You are here for yourself because you are convinced you have the conviction that the United States is right. And you still stand for it until it is fulfilled. That is why you are here in Africa. The third one. Their utterances must reflect the ideas, the philosophy, the policy and the program of the PAC. So everything that we say in Africa, it must reflect the ideas, Kapo. It must reflect the philosophy, Kapo. The police in the program, Kapo. Everything that we say, our heartbeat must reflect, you know, the ideas Zombo to see represent. The ideas of Africa for the Africans, Africans for humanity, and humanity for God must be understood and appreciated. So we must understand. The philosophy of the Atatoso movement, Africa for Africans, Africans for humanity and humanity for God. It's your responsibility. It's not anyone else's responsibility to teach you that. It's your responsibility even to go out and search for knowledge. That is one of the things that they say further down here. But as a, a member of EPAC, you should not be ignorant on the matters that are going on around the world. You should always seek and acquire knowledge. Knowledge. You must be thirsty for knowledge. The moment you, 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 you become you know, ignorant, you must know that you are no longer in the heartbeat of the PAC. You have gone out of the spirit of the PAC of Azali. Now, we've moved from responsibility, which is point number seven. The next point is point number eight which is about the spreading of the ideas. Now, once you are this responsible member with as traits list way up, a sense of responsibility and discipline, you refrain from tail bearing now, everything that you say reflects 
Then they speak about spreading ideas. How then do you spread these ideas? So that also no 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 to pay no rubber wrong. Point number one, they say members must spread the ideas of the PAC through the press, through radio and platforms fearlessly. So wherever you are as a member of the PAC, no matter which platform that you are given, whether you invite you a radio in, and you invite you for whatever topic, even if it's unrelated to e-politics in the PAC, but whatever you say there, in order to tap out on me the platform, it must reflect the ideas of the PAC. Whether you are talking about economics, whether you are talking about social matters, whether we be zobos or get gender-based issues or whatever, whatever they call you about, when I inoiteta yopa, whatever you utter, it must reflect what law or people must see. It. Even if you don't mention the word PAC, even if I'm busy kanaka sobu, but people must know what that law um Africa. Just based on what you are saying, you see on that platform, it is the duty of members. To circulate the ideas contained. So our ideas, we must circulate them through e official documents, e circulars, e lectures. We must host lectures. We must have e journals. And those money is it up a We need to have a, a, a newsletter in Kazimbiri, for example. Tatu Sobukwe, when he was a, a, a lecturer. A, 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 a vet. He started the Africanist, which was a newsletter that they were using to spread the ideas. Zombud. The Africanist, even after Usobukwe was arrested, they continued among Africa publishing the Africanist, circulating, disseminating, writing on e news that were coming out of Azania and spreading those uh, Africanist magazines throughout the world. When e Apla was formed, they also created a propaganda machine, a newsletter, which was called Azania Combat. You see, Machu. It was a way of doing exactly the literature art. It's our duty to produce reading materials, to produce propaganda, to do Nalando Sassians in the Apa and the COVID, spray, paint, do graffitis on walls, write messages on walls, because it's part of the propaganda. Let's print the posters since paste up all over the soil. Speaking on the Africanism and the ideas along mood, you see. We can do that even without mentioning PAC for that matter. You see, as long as people get the message. Because that is what we intend to do. Our intention actually Machun, is not even to convert people into members. But the card carrying members of the PAC. Our intention is to convert people to the ideas of the PNC. Mm. So that every African person no amba pa is tratwed. No ba agani we bang a ski pasta bomb. Batu no mafuta bomb. Bobe ideas, bobe nje naka tuna nai. Bobe aspirations, minu eno ya what they hope for, what they wish to achieve. You see my joke. Point number three, it should be the duty of each and every member to strive to convert people to the idea of the PAC and into the movement. So, you convert these people into these ideas, but and I think it's only natural. Once people are converted into ideas, once Abando are convinced of it's natural that they will be part of the movement. I think it, it, it only it, it comes naturally. If you are once are convinced about Africa for the Africans, the Africa is related. Are they convinced what it, that is the truth and that is what I want to stand for? Naturally, they will want to be part of uh, the organization. So even if you tell them you are speaking with them on the streets, palava, you convince them naturally, they will want to be part of the Muslim Zaira. They will want to come to these meetings. They will want to attend these programs, these events that we are doing in order to enlighten Abanyaban. What's the same to a lady, for example? I don't remember at all Sisi Kubanda Babel Payana come and join us. 
zano join us. Zizi hapa sizo kanvasa, zano join us, come and join us. But people wanted to join. Ngabandu who inquired, such that what you offer in what you offer in what you offer those people. Because they liked what they see and they were convinced which I want to be part of this thing. And that is our goal. That is what we want to achieve. Number four, members must spread the ideas of our cause in the streets, in house-to-house -house campaigns, in the trains, in restaurants, state functions, cinemas, in sports fields, railway platforms, social gatherings, tea parties, dance parties, churches, in school, and in orations by the graveside. This means that everywhere you are, it's every aspect of life. House to house campaigns. We need to have door to door campaigns. Go knock in each door, stay in a band, engage with the people, give them pamphlets, and move to the next house. And that is not done for elections. Because that is what people do during elections. Even PAC. We have the leaders who go, they don't do door campaigns when it's election time. Bafuna uti, bafunu vote. That is not what also Bukwe was saying here. You don't do door to door and house to house campaigns in order to convince people to vote for you. But in order to educate about Africa, disseminate his ideas. So that you liberate in Mondo That is what you need to achieve. Go into the train. Start to Bukwe was a lecturer. He was a so-called middle-class man. Why not afford to scoop a limo to a better in the way I can do? Pum and try them full of. Why not not tell you? That's all right for that man to so do if he wanted to. But so who stayed here? So who didn't own a car? He used to go walk and walk to the train station and get the training and engage with them after on the train from upper right into a toes. And then walk up Laman so called Mandela Bridge into Vets University. Kai Puma M17, he walks the same road into the train and comes back after I engage in a band. That's why we take on get trains up, railway platforms, and everywhere you are. Social gatherings, anywhere you are. No one is a social gathering. We say, we are selling, we are chive, we are take on get parties up. In parties, in tea parties, dance parties, whatever it is, my children. Make sure when you don't forget who you are. You are there for a reason. You are there for a You are there to make sure you maintain the principles of the organization and spread the ideas. If you get a chance, in jail, a little chance that you are given, make sure that that chance you use it to spread the ideas of the organization. By the brave sides. I mean, my baby. Attend the email is not is not is not just Jay. So you know about Lamdu Pa. We are there to make sure what it, we spread the ideas to all of those other people who are not members of the PAC. They must know what it, what the PAC stands for. So even if you don't know a PAC member, even if it's a non PAC member, if when you are there and you are given an opportunity, make sure when you are speaking there, you know it teta you be alive. See? Now we move to number nine, which is the last point, the acquisition of knowledge. You see? Acquisition of knowledge. It shall be the duty of each member of the PAC to improve, to increase and develop his or her knowledge of the affairs of mankind in general and of the continent in which we live in particular. So it's a duty to know the affairs that is what they are saying here. The knowledge of the affairs of mankind in general. So you must not be ignorant of what is happening in Venezuela, what is currently happening in China, what is happening in West Papua, what is happening in different parts of the world. You must, it's your responsibility as a member to know what is happening. You must go out and acquire that knowledge yourself. 
but also know what is happening in Rwanda. When they are in Tunisia and Ireland, a Cameroon, what is happening? What is going on with the wars in Congo? A Angola, when they are done? When they are done in Namibia, Zambia, and Ireland today? It's your duty as a member of the PEC. And you should be ashamed if you are coming out of it. I don't know what is currently happening in Cameroon. I don't know what's currently happening in Uganda. What are the politics there? Apama Africa, who are the Africanists in Uganda? Who are the reactionary who? You should know what is happening in the continent. It's the United States of Africa here. Your interest is not only here. It's not narrow up here as Zani and Jekabupele's borders. Our interest is about the African continent, but also it's about the African world, the black world, wherever Unomnyama is. You should know what is happening. What are the struggles of black people in the other parts of the world? You see, my Africa. Number two, Apo. Utua members must read books and newspapers, for it is an offense to the PAC to be ignorant of current affairs. Atom na Members must read books and newspapers, for it is an offense to the PAC to be ignorant of current events. So if you don't know what is currently happening in the world, Majun, if you are not aware of current world events, world news, watch the news, no PSTPs, who know BBC, who know EMBAN, or CNN, who know the channel Yagoma Russia, Russian TV, all of those channels, Chinese TV, watch those news. Oh Al Jazeera, watch those news. Be aware of what is currently happening in the world. You know? Because it is an offense for you. It is an offense to the PEC for you to be ignorant of what is happening in the world currently. Members should make it their duty to read and hold discussions. So beyond just Lendo, CNZ, I offer a workshop. Sometimes we must have a paper that we circulate here. Figure sheet paper, and everyone must go and read that paper. Next time you come here, we are going to engage in a discussion. Not going to be sitting, standing here and lecturing out, not in the teacher, my Africa. It will be each and every one of us engaging each other in a discussion. What in Nam Africa, this is what I saw. And found the paper, and I'm not even there I'm naming at but this is what I got in now. Africa, my wanda, Belarina, this is what I thought I bought in Jama Africa. And I disagree. You also disagree with this those funda. Just because you are reading something is not the absolute truth. The reason why you funda is to train in on You train your mind. You engage with this in it. And even way back, they don't need funda. Do I agree with what those people were saying here? Because we are not here. To be parrots, even Nabo Tato Sobuko would not want us to be parrots, Zabo. Si parota bona yo, mi drama be teta na eh. Yes, yes, yes. You must also interrogate some of the mistakes and flaws, and shortcomings, Zabo Tato Sobuko. You are here to go and further, push further than what your Tato Sobuko did. It's our duty, my The more theoretically advanced members, should conduct classes for the less advanced. So Abandu who are, who are theoretically advanced should conduct classes for the less advanced. I guess it's based on the experience. You don't get one Abandu who are more experienced must you know, conduct these sessions for those who are less experienced. But that's why in the city, its discussions are the ones that help us and sharpen one another. Because it doesn't sharpen one's mind. Yes. You see. In those of sharpening one, let's engage in a discussion. And one of the things that Funagas is found is that when you are engaged in a discussion, we will disagree in this music. I believe strongly in this thing. And we are born in a total opposite way. He doesn't see it the way I think on an accord. Yes. And the purpose of a discussion and the engagement is for us 
to engage one another until we have a, you know, a, a, a conclusion or whatever, whether you're going to call it a compromise, whether we agree or not, dis or, or not agree at all. Yes. You see. But that's the purpose of discussion. And as we engage and we are sharpening in the Z. You see. And that is why we need to engage each other, not only petty issues. Not only is investment things that won't take us anywhere. But let's engage each other on this thing that build us. Things that build character aid. You see, let's engage one another on how we can improve in below age. How can we make livelihood? Yes. You see, how we can make money and make build resources for our... let's engage one another on this is constructive. Yes. What is it is destructive? You see. The last point, a library of pamphlets newspaper clippings, extracts from books, lectures should be compiled in order to improve and develop and build the ideas of the members around the central philosophy of African nationalism. Yes. So, it's your duty, Mafrida, to collect books, to collect newspapers that speak to his new football newspaper, Africa. And we're interesting. Take that newspaper, cut out that thing, put it in a file like that. It's your duty. You know, if you want a lecture, you want a documentary or something, it's your duty. Find a way of accessing that thing, have it in store, keep it there. To educate yourself, to educate our band bar around you, right? or other members of the organization, you see. But to tell you about Bindoni, a library of pamphlets, newspapers, clippings. Extracts from books, lectures should be combined. You see, if you want to know what the interesting 120, why not buy that book? Because you know what is a lifetime investment. You know what, you know for years, you know what, generally, you know what, I've never read this book, but I've heard it you know, for some time. Genesis, you know what, but there is a day, there is a time when this book will be relevant and we need to read. If I find one and him, um Africa, Ulendugu Tiger will want to read this book. Yes. And um Tiger boy found um Africa Tiger will share the information that he got from this book with either me or Abanyaban, and that's the purpose of knowledge. That's the purpose of buying books, acquiring in words. It's not that we're me who send that. And it's not about we are scholarly. No, found a matter. It's not about. Having gone to a school or a university, or a university, it's about loving, reading, love knowledge, love knowledge. Ah, love knowledge. Not about what if never come she food or anything. No, it's not about English. Speaking English, buy books, get books, read books, train yourself how to read this. Make yourself aware of what is currently ongoing. Yes. Uh, that is where the document, the, the, the you know, uh, the lesson for today will, will, will end, Machon. You see what shop is. And like I said, that was the basic document of the PAC, and that is the disciplinary code. It was number seven, eight, and nine uh, in that uh, document. So that is where we will end. Is with it? Yeah, yeah. Africa. Is I remember, would I have this book, this white boy? Patrick Duncan. He was a white liberal, this white boy. Tatawaki was once a governor of Upper South Africa. But Patrick Duncan became a member of the PEC in the 1960s. After also Bukwemi Banji. Not sure which year exactly. But Patrick Duncan, he not only was became a member of the PEC, he became the official representative of EPAC in Algeria. He used to go with United Nations from Algeria, representing on behalf of the PAC of Asante. A contradiction. And Amanyama Africa, they defend his investigation. They defend his investigation. And that who's going to be talking to Sobuko tomorrow on the using Sobuko. Using land of Sobuko when Sobuko said in a white court, there is only one race to which we belong, and that is the African race. 
and in the end, that is the human being. Sorry, natural beings. So, Amanyama Africa, they use that thing to try and smuggle Eastern class, smuggle white people into the organization. Smuggle Abanda Bamshobe to come and address and talk to our Africa. Smuggle Abanda Bamshobe to come and pose as him. And these people use Sobu. But it's important to understand that to Sobu, Teta is saying there's only one race. The human race is addressing a white charge in a white court. And when Utatu Sobu is trying to tell these white people, we Africans are also human beings. He's trying to show this white booty, we all are part of humanity. So stop dehumanizing us. This morning, I just know about you. Can you see subhuman beings? So why not pass on? Because what I could be getting at there are three branches of this human race: the Africoids, the Mongoloids, and the Caucasoids. The Africoid is the African. The Mongoloid is the Asian and the Caucasoid is the Caucasian, the European macho. So Google is clear about these distinctions, you see. So Tunaga Natige, even the Abu Yobana, Sina Biko blinded when he's very confused by as conversations in the guy online. And even by these people who want to use so Google to smuggle white people and whiteness into the PAC. Because it was not only Patrick Duncan who became a member of EPAC, who caused a, who Gazi, a Gazi, a white Greek man, became a member of the PAC, and he was the secretary for health in the PAC. What was it? By whom Africa? I'm not Africa, but for the universe, he was a Gazi. <laughs> and the PAC leaders, they condemned Ama Africa Kwaza said should have killed him. You see, because these settlers can never be part of a problem. Yeah, Africa. Yeah. He's right to. Yeah, Africa. Yeah, Africa. Yeah, Africa.